I feel like now that we're a well-established pride, we need to find a place to live permanently. I think this place is good. We have good cover where we've been sleeping, there's tons of prey, and unfortunately there's a lot of predators, but we've proven that we can fend for ourselves, we can chase predators off. I think we could do it here. Okay, well if we choose here, we need to have a leader, and we need to have a leader to mark. Well, I don't think Mumble and I should. We're cheetahs, and if anyone smells our markings, especially mine since I'm a female, they're not going to be scared at all. And I don't know if Rika should really mark it because she's a female, because that could attract more leopards that we may or may not want here. It could be good because if they want to join us and work with us, that's great, but if they're going to be hostile towards us, that's not good. Yeah, I agree. And even though I'm a leopard and leopards are strong, lions are way stronger than me. Do you guys think I should mark? You being a young male lion, there's going to be little predators that are willing to step foot in your territory. I think it would be smartest to have you mark, Kier. Does that mean I'm the leader? Well, I guess it is, because leaders mark. Well, I'll definitely mark for our safety, but do you guys really think I'm ready to be a leader? You've proven how strong you are with your great hunting skills, and you've fought off many other predators. I think you've earned a spot to be leader, Kier. Yeah, but I did all of that with you guys. We did it all as a team. I think for now, we should still make decisions as a group. Yeah, Kira's pretty young still, and, well, we're also really close. We're like family now, so it makes sense for us to make decisions together. I still want your guys' input for everything that I decide, but I'll be the one to mark, and I'll always put myself first in any situations we get into. I respect your decision, Kira. I think how close the four of us are and how there's only four of us, there's very few, it makes sense for us to still make decisions together. Maybe if our pride grows big and strong, and we get many more members, we'll probably need a singular leader, but that won't probably happen until years from now. And Kier, by then, I'm sure you'll be ready to lead. Yeah, I agree. I'm honored that you guys want me to be your leader. Well, you've kept us safe from a lot of predators, and you've been a great help in getting food. Of course, we'd want you to be a leader. And you're also very nice. Thank you, Mumble. Okay, well, I'll get to marking then. I think Kier honestly would be a great leader. He's very humble of himself. He's so selfless. He doesn't think that he's better than us just because he's a big male lion. He sees our strengths, and... He also sees his weaknesses. Yeah, I agree. That kid also has a kind heart. And he's a great hunter. Toy Mini has a new release of this six-piece White Lion family playset. And it's very new, so they wanted to share it with me and you guys and give you guys a little discount. So if you use this coupon code that's on the bottom of the screen right now at checkout, you will get a 20% off discount on your order, but the discount only works for this specific White Lion playset. You guys get this 20% off deal all the way up until October 31st. October 31st is the last day, so if your parents are looking for a Christmas present for you, they can get it at a discount right now, or if you have any birthdays coming up, or if you just want another playset right now, go ahead and Get it while you can at a discount. And you're not only supporting Toy Many and getting a discount, you're also supporting me and my channel because I also get 20% of the proceeds from what you guys purchase. So if you want this epic White Lion playset and you want it at a discount and you want to support me and my channel, go ahead and use the code at checkout. And yeah, enjoy your new playset, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, I made a bit of a circle around our little camp, or I guess a half circle. I can't go past that rock wall. That's great, Kier. I didn't make it too big, because we can always expand later when we need to. 
And also, we're kind of tucked back here away from everything. And I feel like for now, until we get maybe a couple more members, we should still be hidden. I'm really glad you want our pride to grow. I just really hope that other animals will agree with us and see the great we're doing together. Okay, now that we have an established territory, we should start to make our den site. Let's get to digging. I'll make my nest over here. I think this is big enough for me. I'll make mine next to Mumble. I think I made it a little bigger than I needed to, but that's all right. I'll go up here. I'll go in the middle. I think this is good. Hmm. Hey, Lila. Yes, Rika? Kier looks a little sad, don't you think? Yeah, I noticed. He's just standing alone over there. Maybe he's thinking what those other lions were talking about. Maybe he is a little lonely and wants a girlfriend. I hope he won't leave us for a lion pride. I don't think he has the heart to do that. What are you girls talking about? We're getting kind of worried that Kira's is lonely. What do you mean? He has us. I'm talking about he probably wants a girlfriend. We hope he won't leave us for a lion pride. Well, he doesn't have to leave us to have a girlfriend. If we see a lioness, we can invite her to join. Yeah, we could, but usually the lions that go rogue are the males. The ladies usually stay in the pride because they don't get kicked out. I'm sure there's a few that go off by themselves if they don't like the certain pride they're in. Yeah, but would they join us? I don't know. Exactly. Well, it can't hurt the offer if we see one. Yeah. Well, anyways, we're starting to run low on zebras. I'm going to go off and see if I can just get a few rabbits or something. Okay, Lila, be careful. I will, Rika. I'll be back in a little bit. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I was hunting. Yeah, so was I. Are you lost? You're awfully close to my territory. Territory? You have a territory? But you're a cheetah. Yeah, so what? If you get too close to my family, then we won't hesitate to get rid of you. <laughs> you and your cubs? No, I don't have any cubs. Then what family? My brother, a leopard, and a lion. What? You've gone crazy, girl. Call me crazy all you want, but working with them, they've kept me alive. And I don't know about you, but I like staying alive. You trust to be around a lion? What is it, a baby? No, he's a fully grown adult. He used to be a baby. What, did you raise him or something? Yeah, actually, I kind of did. With my brother. And then we met a leopard who wanted to join us. That's fascinating. You think so? Yeah, I mean, like, what's it like living with a lion and a leopard? They're very nice, and they keep my brother and I safe. And we all work together and hunt together. How does that work? Each cat has their own hunting ability. Well, my brother and I are the cheetahs, and we're fast and swift, so we chase the prey and get it tired, and we kind of, like, hurt it back to where the lion and the leopard are and the leopard comes out and pounces and then the lion comes and takes it down with the leopard whoa that's that's interesting 
So, what are you doing? Are you alone, or do you have a family? No, I'm just out here alone. I've been living alone since I got old enough my mom kicked me out. Yeah, that makes sense. That happened with my brother and I, but we decided to stay together, and I'm glad we did. That's good. My brother didn't want to stick with me, and my sister wanted to have cubs, so we all kind of split. Yeah, I've never had cubs, but I hope to have some one day. You know, I don't get it why mother cheetahs decide to raise cubs by themselves. It's because it's dangerous. If the male would stick around, it would lead to more predators coming around him and he would potentially die, so a lot of them leave. But I'm I'm in a pride now. I I don't live by myself. The four of us work great together, and we're hoping to add to our pride. Really? That's cool. Would you ever join a pride? Well, I've never thought about it. I mean, cheetahs don't do that. Yeah, we don't, but I've been alive so far, and I've actually gotten very strong. I don't get my kills taken anymore because we have the leopard and the lion to defend it. That sounds like a luxury. It really is. Hey, what's your name, by the way? Oh, sorry. My name's Makoa. Oh, that's nice. My name's Lila. I like that name. It's pretty. Thank you. Hey, Makoa, would you want to come meet my friends? Um, well, are you sure they're not going to kill me? I'm sure of it. Well then, sure. Okay, follow me. Hey guys, I didn't catch any rabbits, but I met someone. Oh boy, a cheetah. He's not going to steal our food, is he? Oh no, he couldn't with you here. What's going on? Lila met someone. This is Makoa, and, well, we kind of ran into each other. We were hunting the same rabbit, and it just happened like that. But we started talking, and I told him about you guys, and he's interested in it. Uh, yeah, yeah my, my name's Makoa. And, well, I thought it was cool. You don't have to be afraid, dude. I'm not going to hurt you unless you hurt one of my pride members, or if you try to take our food or territory. I promise I'm not here for any of that. I, I just thought it was really cool. Well, my name's Kier, and, well, I'm kind of the leader. Well, I'm the one who marks. We all kind of make decisions together. Yeah, my name's Rika, and this is Mumble. Well, it's nice to meet you all. Would you be interested in joining us, Makoa? Well, I mean, I don't have anything else to lose. I don't have any family of my own, so maybe. Well, we do want to expand our pride, right guys? As long as he's nice. How about let's talk about it for a while. How about you leave and if you decide that you want to join, you come back tomorrow and we'll tell you if we'll let you join or not. Okay. I promise I'm nice, and I really don't have any family. When my siblings and I got too old, our mother kicked us out, and I've just been on my own since. And I I could help with hunting and stuff, you know, I'm, I'm really fast, and I'm pretty strong for a cheetah. Yeah, you don't look like a normal cheetah. Yeah, my mother said I'm a king cheetah, and you don't look like a normal lion. Yeah, I'm a white lion. We're pretty rare. With two rare animals and one pride? That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it is. Well, Makoa, how about you come back tomorrow if you really do want to join and we'll talk about it. Okay. So he's obviously not going to join if he doesn't come back tomorrow. But if he does come back, what do you guys think? He seems pretty nice. He wasn't mean to me at all and he didn't try to hurt me. We just kind of accidentally ran into each other. Yeah, he seemed nice. He didn't try to take our food. He didn't try to hurt anyone. He seems pretty cool. I can have a cheetah bro to hang out with. Well, I guess if we let him in and he seems bad, we could always just kick him out again, right? Yeah, we could easily kick him out. And if he's telling the truth about living alone, then he won't come back with anybody else. So what do we consider bad? If we let him in and he's mean or rude and doesn't hunt or something? Yeah, I guess if he's rude to us, or he doesn't pull his weight, or both, then we could kick him out again. We obviously don't know the guy, so we gotta be careful. But from first meeting him, 
He seems alright. Yeah, he seems nice and interested in our pride. So if he comes back, we'll let him in? Yeah, we will, but how about we don't tell him about the kicking him out part if he's bad? Yeah, I agree. We gotta see his character develop without influence. Well, let's sleep and see if he comes back tomorrow then.